So, uh, Marco, how did you get your start on the show? I started Euro Plays. I started as a theater writer, um, and uh, my writing sample that was right here was actually a play that I wrote about a heavy metal band, and I think that some of the voices uh, Kurt and Dave responded to because they sounded like guys in this world a little bit. And so, I didn't know that. And now, I'm, metal band? now I'm writing through this world. Good pun. I started out as a writer's assistant, which means you sit in the corner of the room and take notes. And uh, it's, I always heard that being a writer's assistant was like a graduate course in writing for television, and it really has been, because I, I started out as a writer's assistant, you know, and you just, you break story with all the writers and you, and you, you get right into it with everyone, you're kind of one of the, one of the bunch, and then uh, I think what season Two, season two, I got story credit on one of the episodes, and then season three, I got a freelance episode. Season four, which is a season, you know, I'm writing two more episodes. So it's just, it's been a, you know, it's what do you call that? It's been an escalation. It's been a every year, you know, progression. Yeah, progression. But writer's assistant was how I started. Writing my first episode of television that ever got produced was fun and terrifying, uh, very exciting. I'm, I'm a fan of, of all the actors on the show, so actually, I think the second I typed one of their name, one of the characters' names onto the script, and it kind of became real for a second, I, it was Unser, was the first scene I, I wrote, and so I, I wrote, I remember typing Unser's name and looking at it and being like, that's, Dayton Callie's gonna say this. And I, I remember thinking that was very cool, and it was very terrifying, but tons of fun, and uh, yeah. I'd say the same. I mean, it's it is tons. Of, it's fun to to envision what's going to happen to the words that you create. You know, because you sit as a writer, as an unproduced writer, you write all this stuff, and you envision certain actors or characters or people you know in life saying these words, and it, it never gets produced. You never see it. And with television, it's you know you're seeing it months later. It's it's pretty cool. There's there's usually a hierarchy in the writers' room as far as the rooms I've been. And I've been just two rooms, but. Um, you know the senior senior staff, meaning your you know your executive producer, your co-execs, your producer titles. The titles, you know, being a staff writer, you kind of have to know your place a little bit. So this room is very nurturing. I've heard yeah. I've heard horror stories from other rooms, um, and we the truth is we should be very intimidated and very and very afraid to open our mouths in that room because. We're in that room, I think, or at least for me, that room is full of uh, chock full of geniuses, and, um, and yet they make it very... Whoa, 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 geniuses? Whoa, whoa, now! <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, there's, you know, there's... They're going to be watching this, so I just had to get that... Yeah, we have to, hey, hey. No, but, you know, great, great TV shows are in that room with us. Uh, people who wrote for great TV shows are there, and so I think that, um, considering... No, this is going to sound horrible. I was going to say, considering how they could just... So that shut you down. Shut us down and be like, listen, asshole. Yeah. You know, they're very nurturing. As long as you kind of know your, you know, you know your role and know your place. It's yeah, absolutely. Everything's copacetic. Pitching your stories in a room, it's just, I mean, in this environment, it, you know, you wait for an opportunity to speak and you pitch your story, you know what I mean? It's pretty simple. It's, everyone's very friendly and like we were saying, everyone's yeah. receptive to ideas from all around the room. No, you know, no, no idea is a bad idea until everyone says that's a bad idea. That sucks. Then it's a bad idea. And that rarely happens. It's a horrible idea. <laughs> the, there's a moment where, like, we're looking at a new episode, especially, and we have to erase all the boards from the last episode, and we're looking up like, um, what the are blank, we gonna do? Yeah, it's page. just all blank, and so it's almost like we're all in the same boat, and we're all looking at each other. And there's like three seconds, and we're all like, shit, and then that kind of brings that, that energy, but we can all just, all right, time to start throwing up. And as the season progresses, it's, we usually have something that we're carrying from a prior episode. We right. have some idea like, well, we want to accomplish this yeah. because we set it up in prior episodes. So it gets a little bit easier as far as to put a few things on the board, so you have mm -hmm. a couple couple things to latch on to. Yeah, little, little build story or Yeah. Yeah. Usually, Kurt comes in with an idea of what the and sort of what the season is going to shape like, what he maybe a couple arcs, maybe an idea of how it's going to go, and then we all just get into it. I mean, you just start 
throwing out ideas and, and kind of jump off where we left off the last season with all the characters. We talk about the characters and where they're at in their head, kind of what themes would go along with each character. Yeah, Kirk comes in with a very, a very solid sense of more or less what he wants to happen. Yeah. It's almost like if someone were describing to you what happened on another season of another show. Like, oh, that's the season when this happened, and then at the end, yeah. this happened. But Kirk comes in with a lot of that, so you're just like, wow, that's... Yep. That sounds like an ex the first couple of days almost sound like, wow, that's an exciting season of a TV show I want to watch. Yeah, and then, we, um, and and then, then it kind of it. changes and evolves at, yeah. throughout the season as, as it needed, you know? Yeah. It's, it's cool. Season four is going to be awesome. I do think it's going to be awesome. And I don't think we're just saying that. I honestly think it's going to be awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, it's about it's about the guys. You know, we're back in Charming. It's it's a reset. It's it's it, it's actually very fun for us writers because you get to leave behind some of the baggage that we've accumulated over three seasons. You know. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Jim and Tara have good stuff. It's gonna be good. There's a lot of bikes, a couple explosions. Pedal bikes though. Pedal bikes, bicycles. Yeah. Sons of Anarchy go to uh, go on a go. To Lance Armstrong has a has a yeah. Pee Wee's big top. <laughs> nice. Tricycles.